folks, we are here with Wendy and Beth from the Incredible Fruit Loops podcast, here to play another round of the Affirmative Murder True Crime Inspired Pop Culture Game Show. Sorry, makes me winded when I. It's a it's a long it's a long one. Anyway, <laughs> Beth, Wendy, um, here we have three questions. You got to get two of the three right. You have one all encompassing lifeline, even though there's two of you. You only get one. You can phone a friend. You can ask a stranger. Who at this point there are literally no strangers around. <laughs> or either or both of you can sing a song for 12 seconds. But you only get one of those, okay? Like I said, you got to get two of the three right. You win an awesome prize. Okay. Two are we, all right. Are we, okay. we clear? I think so. Yeah. Let's do it. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Wendy, Beth. Wendy, Beth. Bendy. Bendy. <laughs> Bendy. Dirty John is the Bravo series based on the popular LA Times podcast of the same name. Yes. What rapper wrote the incredibly popular mid two thousands ringtone jam, Riding Dirty? Oh, uh, oh my God, <laughs> this is not my uh, forte. Okay, it is. Uh, <laughs> you got it. You got this. I know this is, okay. Wendy, you got this. Bendy, you got this. It's not okay. It, okay, can I uh, describe him? Same guy. Who As, did and, and I give you the point. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rapper. He, <laughs> he, did, he, he does does raps. Rap. <laughs> he, did, he did back that ass up, right? How? Hold on, bro. How? How you? I'm saying, how, like, talk to me, bro. We are here with Jessica Bailey. Jessica Bailey and Christina Mars. Christina Mars. They are a two for one special. They're playing together. Yeah. I believe the quote was. Together, there'll be one brain. No, no together will be half a brain. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Dirty John is the popular Bravo series based on the LA Times podcast of the same name. What rapper wrote the incredibly popular mid 2000s ringtone jam, Riding Dirty? Oh, that started with a C. We looked it up and I forget. No. <laughs> but she doesn't remember. But she doesn't remember. Phone, so phone a friend. Phone a friend. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. You can also sing a song or you can call somebody. I'll call her. <laughs> <Come> <laughs> call her. She's right there. <laughs> Chameleonaire. Chamillionaire. Okay, she used her she used, she used her phone to friend line and, and yeah. uh, it is Chameleonaire. But now you're on your own. Uh oh. Elise. Uh -oh. You're okay. on your you're on your own now, Elise. Okay. <laughs> That was awesome. That's time. That was you guys win. That you guys get that point. That was fantastic. <laughs> that, was, that was the best yeah, that, thing to do, yeah, right? Yeah. Good call. Good call. But now you're out of lifelines. Uh, so now. Oh, we, we can't make the rules up as you go. I can do whatever I want. Uh, <laughs> Jessica, that's rule number one. I can do whatever I want. We are here with Jackie from the Relative Unknown podcast. She is very inked up and she's very awesome. And she's going to try to win some prizes today. Jackie, how good are you at uh, one pop culture trivia? That's oh. it. That's it. That's the only requirement. So so. So so. so, -so. We'll see how so. I, I might do we'll see. We'll see how so so it is, Jackie. Okay. Jackie. <clears throat> There's three questions. Now you get one all-encompassing lifeline. You can phone a friend, ask a stranger, or you can sing a song of my choosing for 12 seconds. If you don't have the answer, you got to get two out of the three right. And if you do, you get an awesome prize. Okay. Okay. All right. We got. It. We got this. We got this. We got it. We got this. Okay, Jackie. Dirty John is the Bravo series based on the popular LA Times podcast of the same name. What rapper wrote the incredibly popular mid 2000s ringtone jam, Riding Dirty? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's what she said. Okay. Um. Bendy. Yes. yes. Question two. Penelope Cruz completely transformed her look to play, the, to play Donatella Versace in the FX series The Assassination of Gianni Versace. In the cult classic Showgirls, Elizabeth Berkeley incorrectly pronounces Versace as what? Versace. Nice. <laughs> correct. That is correct. Fantastic <laughs> film. Elizabeth Berkeley. It, it, it's, fantastic it's, film, yes, huh? Yeah, yeah. A breakout, a breakout mm. performance. I would disagree. Uh, yeah, hard disagree. Breakout performance. <laughs> also, cameraman, you're a cameraman. Oh. Shut it. <laughs> need your input about. Ooh, I, need your, I don't need your input about Elizabeth Berkeley. She's fantastic. <laughs> Penelope Cruz. Completely transformed her look to play Donatella Versace in the FX series, The Assassination of Gianni Versace. In the cult classic Showgirls, Elizabeth Berkley incorrectly pronounces Versace as what? Uh, I'm 
guessing, should I guess, yeah, I don't know. first says. That's a correct. fucking amazing guess. Okay. You are correct. All right, correct. cool. Did you go phonetic? Well, I mean, yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, you know. She's cont- knife, knife. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> duh. You just gotta sound it out, you just gotta sound it out. In the cult classic Showgirls, Elizabeth Berkeley incorrectly pronounces Versace as what? Now I'm gonna give you a hint. Versace is spelled V-E-R-S-A-C-E. There's only so many ways you can misspell it. You also still have a lifeline. Versace. Ooh, it is Versace. Oh my goodness. It is Versace. It is Versace. It is it is Versace. It is Versace. Jackie. Versace. And I was humble. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Sometimes we all need a little hand. What's that Beatles song? Get, get by with a little help from my friends, you know? The last question, at least, is a multiple choice question. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> as ready as you're gonna, as ready as I'm exactly. gonna be. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. uh, Elise, McMillions chronicles the stranger than fiction true story of how $24 million was stolen from the McDonald's Monopoly game of the 1990s. What is the nickname for a McChicken sandwiched between a McDouble? Is it A, a McOrgy, B, a McBomination, C, a McGangbang, or D, diarrhea? D. <laughs> that is an acceptable answer here at Affirmative Murder. Yes, uh, that is correct. Uh, congratulations, Elise. You have won a fabulous prize. Yay. Everybody give it up for Elise. Thank yes. you very much. I what get to choose the prize? <laughs> oh, this my God. Wow. It's a haunted uh, photo of a family from the 19th century who survived the potato famine. Oh, my God. No. Nice. Yes. Elise, all gifts are final. If you would like to get rid of that, I would suggest you giving it to somebody that you don't like to pass the curse on to them. Elise, congratulations. How do you feel? I feel wonderful. Are you a fan of the Potato Famine? Or are you? I have no idea who they are. Yeah, it's a great band here in Austin, yeah. Texas, the Potato Famine. Yeah, they're, they're great. a great story. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> for sure. Uh, well, Elise, enjoy that photo of that family, and uh, I don't know, keep it away from your other yeah. photographs of your family. And, uh, I'm glad we don't have any. Yeah, I'm glad it's out of our hands. The curse is lifted, friend. Air 5. <laughs> McMillions chronicles the stranger than fiction true story of how $24 million was stolen from the McDonald's Monopoly game of the 1990s. What is the name for a McChicken sandwiched between a McDouble? Now, this is a multiple choice question. I will read the multiple choice answers and, you know, pick one. That's how that, that's how multiple choice works. Um, is it A, a McOrgy? B, a McBomination? C, a McGangbang? Or D, diarrhea? Oh, it's a real thing, and it's abomination delicious. McBomination. McBomination? Yeah. McBomination is incorrect. It's actually a McGangbang. Diarrhea is an acceptable answer. <laughs> but you guys won, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah. Fran, what did it's they win? Your, it's on your side. Oh, it's on my, oh yeah. the bag is on my side. We're going to go with... Uh, this. Uh, they have won Garth Brooks' self-titled debut album, Garth Brooks. <laughs> featuring the hit song... <laughs> featuring the hit song, Much Too Young. Congratulations to the two of you. Maybe... Both of you get the hands on that like a, like a prize trophy. And great job. Last question, Jackie. Okay? This is a multiple choice question. Okay? <clears throat> so, McMillions chronicles the stranger than fiction true story of how $24 million was stolen from the McDonald's Monopoly game of the 1990s. What is the nickname for a McChicken sandwiched between a McDouble? Is it A, a McOrgy? B, a McBomination? C, a McGangbang? Or D, Diarrhea. <laughs> oh, D, diarrhea. That is an acceptable answer here. Affirmative murder. Uh, yes, uh, D, diarrhea is correct. Congratulations, Jackie. What did I win? What did you? What did she win? What did she win, Fran? Oh, it, is a, it is a Peppa Pig ten lunchbox, Jackie. Jackie, do you eat lunch by, by chance? Okay, well now look, you're set for life. I really am. That's made of sturdy. They make spaceships out of that material. Wow, that's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, you're good wow, to go. That's very generous. Uh, Jack- my daughter Jackie- will steal that. My daughter will steal this from you. Yes. Yeah. That's, that's her name well, it's pretty exclusive. It's I, from, I really like it. It's from a place called The Goodwill. <laughs> oh, and that's why that's my favorite store. There you go. Look, pretty high end. Full circle. Right. Jackie, thank you so much for playing. Thank you, Alvin. Congratulations. Make, thank sure you, you, make sure you check out our podcast, Relative Unknown. Relative Unknown. McMillions chronicles the stranger than fiction true story of how $24 million was stolen from the McDonald's Monopoly game of the 1990s. What is the nickname 
for McChicken, sandwiched between a McDouble? It's a multiple choice question. I'll read the, whole, the, uh, the possibilities now. Is it A, a McOrgy? B, a McBomination? C, a McGangbang? Or D, diarrhea? Woo! Hershey squirts. Uh, no, <laughs> I like McGangbang. That's my favorite, but it's diarrhea. Both of them are acceptable right. answers. Both C and D are acceptable answers. Congra- <laughs> congratulations, Beth. And <laughs> congratulations, Beth and Wendy. You cleared the board. Answer the double questions. Here we go. Uh, you have, because it's two of you, you guys actually win a prize. You guys have won seasons one and two of Robin Big on DVD. Oh, I love the show, people. Let me tell you about my best friend. Rest in peace to rest in peace to Big Black. Rest in peace to Christopher Big Black yeah. Morgan, indeed. First of all, I'd like to give thanks uh, to God, who's the head of my raggedy-ass life, for this wonderful prize. <laughs> but, uh, Beth, uh, don't, just, don't you sleep on that. You guys don't have to uh, figure out the custody battle between that uh, DVD set because... Oh, no. Two players, two prizes. Beth, you have won a travel set of the dice game Settlers of Catan. Whoa! Nerds. Oh, my God. Congratulations. Look at God. Love what? some nerds. Won't he do it? Yeah. Won't he do it? He will. He will. (laughs) Say it loud. Uh, Wendy, Beth, thank you guys so much for playing. I would love for you guys to take a second to plug your podcast before we get out of here. Okay, we host Fruit Loops, Serial Killers of Color. It is a podcast. Uh, You can find it all the places you get your podcast. It comes out every Thursday. Uh, We are on all social media, on uh, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter as Fruit Loops Pod. And uh, you can email us at fruitloopspod.com. That's it. That's about it? Yes. Wendy, Beth, Bendy, thank you guys so much. I hope you guys had a fabulous crime con. We did. We did. Hopefully we'll see you guys next year as well. Yes, hopefully. Yes. Uh-huh. If I, I, oh, this couldn't have worked out better. Yeah, 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 yeah. For people who don't know, uh, our neighbors. yeah, Fruit Loops and Affirmative Murder were side by side at Crime Con. Yeah. Worked out perfectly. Mm-hmm. You know, some, some, some people call that fate. Oh, yes. If there you be- are no it, coincidences. There are no coincidences, if you believe in that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But until next time, Crime Con 2021. Over and out. I'm going to drop the mic. I've never done it before. Huh?